I'm running for president, sir. You, you have, have two main opposition candidates, Abu Bakr Atiku and Peter Obi, who people are saying, you know, is, is the young upstart, and I mean that in a very positive way. Young where? Young upstart. I've lived in Brokro, Manabra, Your Excellency, if you weren't running for president, which of your two major opponents would you be voting for? None. Well, thank you very much for joining us. It's a serious miles on the TV. Well, this is still looking at the BBC interview with Ashwa Jibola Ahmed, Senator of the Presidential Candidate of the All Progressive Congress after uh, his meeting at Chatham House in London. Well, please do share this video with others. Drop your comment, make them simple and simple. We are going to be running through, uh, you know, a part of this um, video in a moment. You know, we just run through it. Um, in a moment and get to talk about it. Ashwaji Bala Metinbo claimed that he made his money from inheritance that had yielded, um, you know, returns over time. He also mentioned that he built Lagos State. He also mentioned that if he were not in the ballot, he wouldn't have voted for any of the two. But I think that was deliberate so that uh, he is not being questioned further as to the credibility of those uh, who are in the ballot. Let's watch the video. Yes, thank you very much for talking to you. The BBC. Uh, first of all, how, how are things going with you with the um, campaigning? Yes, I'm going very well. Uh, I'm very, very confident that this election, free and fair, uh, I'm the front runner. And that is why I'm getting many arrows. We'll come, come, we'll talk, we'll talk about what we're doing, the arrows, arrows in the pit. Let, let's, let's, let's talk about your priorities. If you do win the elections, the elections in, in February, February and you're sworn into office, office uh, come, come May 29th, what, what are your priorities? priorities? Security and economic recovery to, to uh, uh, accelerate uh, development, to no, get Nigeria employed and get inflation down. You know, monetary policy needs to be changed. Subsidy, subsidy need to be decided upon. And, uh, mm. Mm. Uh, security, security is a big, is a big problem, problem for many Nigerians. I remember in this, in this very, very room, room in 2015, I asked President, President Mohamed, Mohamed Buhari when he was campaigning about, about that issue. And he said, he said well, we, well, we know what we're going to do, we know what we're going to do. The problem, the problem still persists. persists. What, what are you going to do specifically? As to reduce, I would defend him for that. You then. Seventeen local governments. Wait, 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 wait. No, no be, no be. Uh, you know, this one no be anu anu inu. This one are uh, anu Like people will say, this one are sickness where we where we they see. You know, when President Muhammadu Buhari was coming into office, all the all that we had at that time was even in the north, and it was based. It was mainly Boko Haram. It was mainly Boko Haram. It hadn't escalated to the point of people not being able to travel on Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Lagos Ibadan Expressway of all places. Lagos Ibadan Expressway of all places. We have always believed that it is the Abuja Kaduna Highway that is the dreaded way. Where bandits now, bandits now have the air country. They have the air country to block to come to the airports and a, 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 an airport in Kaduna. And to now think about it. It is the same governor, sitting governor of that state, where over 200, 200 bandits, you know, were on the high, were on the runway in in, on, in Kaduna Airport. Is the same governor that Ashwajibola met Tinobo asked to delegated to help him to answer question on security. His team, his team. I only wanted to say that if things were not this bad when President Muhammadu Buhari came in. We we don't we did not need to we did not need to do as much prayers as we do now today, you know, when we want to travel, as we were doing then. You know, and things so uh, this issue of this idea of it had reduced, I just said, no, 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 this is just uh, that, that's just that is just politics. You just played politics there. Well, we, I, I wanted to please just keep dropping your comment, make them simple and simple. Let us know what you feel about this particular one because I just felt like, no, no, this is not the truth. This is not the truth of the reality on ground. Security is 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 biting hard. It's it's hard. It's a tough time for Nigerians when it comes to securities. You can go on, sir. And about four states where we have flags of foreign jihadists in Nigeria. 
that, that is no God. That, that is no God. God. But sir, even if they have removed flags, does as flag stopped, you know, as flag stopped banditry, as flag stopped, you know, all this. Even the, even though there is not a, there's not a flag somewhere to show that oh we are in control of this place, but in Zamfara State, they, they 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 pay they pay as much as about twenty million to bandits to maintain peace and order in the place. What has been done about that? What has been so? It's not just an issue of removing flags. In fact, I saw in the news that one of the bandits, the top bandits, whose house was raided by you know uh uh. Uh, Air Force, you know, that the, the, whose house he said, he said he stepped out of the house not quite long before the reading. He stepped out of the house. He could have, he could have been inside the house, but he stepped out of the house not quite long. We don't know whether that was based on information that got to him or something. But he stepped out of the house and he said categorically, I, I, might, I might be able to make reference to that particular news and get a link, but he said categorically that the government are not ready to stop banditry. They had, they had made him to sit down and agree at some point or the other, you know, to stop to put down their weapons and all of that. But then, oh, come on. We, we, our security issue in Nigeria is not it at all. It's not it at big, at big. Please, please don't just let us go there. Ah, uh, to so start, the chaos is easy. To break numbers and in the courage. Uh, it's more, more difficult. Here yeah, we are. But well, yes, degraded, degraded, but, but not, not completely, completely eliminated, eliminated as well. Then we, we talk briefly of, of lethal weapons and, and ammunition and technology equipment, equipment that could have helped accelerate the cleanup of, of uh, those. The, the West, West is yet, yet to feel comfortable enough, enough with, with the Buhari administration to sell us the arms. Did you, you think that would change? That might change with you, or would that change with you? It, it, it could change, it might not change. <laughs> but we have to look at you know, alternatives. And that, those are the mass recruitment mm -hmm. of uh, individuals uh -huh. in a volunteer. <laughs> yes. Really? really? Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 uh, 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 you know, more people I think that's SMS from Airtel. Forces, yes. yeah. as, you as you said during your speech downstairs. Now, now I, just I just want to move away from that because I realize we don't have much time. time. There's, There's also the issue, issue of, you know, Nigerians, Nigerians have, have lived under this Buhari administration for eight years, now almost eight years. Some would say this eight years has come with a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. You are, you are coming from, from the same perspective, perspective as President Mohammed Buhari, and you know, you're, members, you're members of the same political party. You, you helped bring him in uh, to office nearly, nearly eight, eight years ago. What are you, are you going to do different? Why should Nigerians be voting for you? Because, because I'm different. I am Bola Ahmed Tinobu. I have governed Lagos. I have built a modern state that could be a country on its own. I've, I've led an administration that is so prudent from, from 600 million internally generated revenue to, to 5 billion a month. That's, that's a record. Nobody, Nobody else can brag, can brag about that. I've, I've changed, changed, I've changed the, Atlantic the Atlantic Ocean surge in Nigeria, in Nigeria that Nigeria. will have perished, perished many, many people in Lagos. The infrastructure I renewal of Lagos is excellent. I've continuity in Lagos. Buhari has done his best. I can't run away from him being my friend, my leader in the party. Leader in the party. I will not. Yes, that's okay. So, I mean, when you talk, you talk about, about um, money, money generated in Lagos, I don't come to your own personal. Self. When, you when you talk about, about I mean, you're, you're a very wealthy man. man. So, well, well, you know, I mean, I, you you are, are, I, I, I can't have not in your account, but, but this is, this is speculation, and, and it's, it's fine. fine. You can actually report it or, or not. When, when I, look I look at some, some um, publications in the city of worth four billion, some is even more than that, but you refuse to explain 
where, where your wealth comes from. I know where you live in Lagos. It's a massive, sprawling mansion that takes up nearly a quarter of a street in a very expensive suburb. Why do you refuse? I mean, don't Nigerians have the right to know where the wealth of their next leader comes from? <laughs> they got to know how to analyze and how to ask questions, not in the accusatory format. Okay, sir. Are they enemy of wealth? If they are not enemy of wealth, investment, do you have an example of a Warren Buffett? I'm one of the richest men. Who, who is Baba looking at? Who, Baba seems to be catching inspiration from somewhere. <laughs> I beg you, he seems to be catching inspiration from somewhere. You can't now start enjoying yourself or compare yourself to Warren Buffett. No, 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 no. You can't compare yourself with Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, no, no. Warren Buffett is a businessman and he's known for what he does. So, uh, you know. But then let's let's hear, let's hear, Baba, let's hear. In America mm. and in the world. Uh, so the question that poses is, can we really compare Ashiwaju to uh, with um, Book Warren Buffett as he claims? Yeah. He started from stock buying. I edited great real estate. I turned the values around. I'm, I'm not denying my wealth. I've not been. I was the, the most investigated. The most administrative governor in the opposition up to, you know, from for eight years and up to 207. And since I left the office, I'm still there. I've not taken any government appointment, no government contract. It's for some civil legal research in Lagos State was that you know you always you were getting a share of the revenue that Lagos State was generating. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. What? Have they proven it? The World Bank has given it. I has investigated the right. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was a very smooth one. I love the, you know, the, even though, yeah, it was, it was okay. At least better than, better than at least we're able to hear, you know. But then drop your comment. Make them simple and civil. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.